Hi, my name's Anne McCaffrey. I'm 17 and I play for Neva One in Belfast. Um, for the Dermot Early Project, my group was given the topic of mental health to speak about and my subtopic that I picked was suicide because of my friend passing away from suicide a few months ago during the pandemic. Um, I think it's really important probably just to reach out because obviously you're not able to train and play like you used to be able to um, and maybe you're not speaking to these people that you trust and you spend so much time with so speaking out to your manager or a teammate that you trust like online through whatsapp or just bring them the one car like I think that's probably the most important thing to do rather than letting it all bubble up because you don't have like a sort of escape like root I suppose because when you're playing you let out stress and you let out all your worries and when I'm playing camogie like my stress goes and it provides a distraction but obviously I haven't been playing so it's been quite hard but I've been talking to my friends and I've been talking to family and um now that camogie's starting back next week and GAA starting back next week I think that'll definitely help. For my interview I interviewed temporary senior hurler Nal O'Meara. Yeah um, yeah so if you could just give an introduction and talk about your experience with losing someone due to suicide, just a bit of background about yourself. Yeah, so firstly, uh, my name is Niall O'Meara and I'm from Tipperary, Kilirwan in Tipperary actually. And I lost my brother Paul to suicide when I was um, just 12 years old. And a few years later, I lost another of my friends to suicide. And um, like everybody, it left a big hole in my life and um, took me a long time to get over it and get used to it and dealing with the grief and um, I suppose like everybody else you have great memories and then other times you'd be sad thinking about it and um, just I don't know it's hard when you're just always looking for reasons and answers and um, yeah I suppose that's my background yeah um, I've our family have coped well with the situation and took a long time to get used to it but we're doing well and um, thankfully we have only good memories. Um, how did you get help and how did the GIA, your teammates and managers support you? So firstly I would have done a Rainbow's program, it's a grieving program for um, young kids with, who experience family loss and then obviously the GIA was big for me I think um, two or three weeks after Paul's death we went out to play a Gaelic football match and I don't know, I just felt free for the first time since it happened. And from there on in, I've always had great sport from the GA because very social, lovely, positive experiences. And uh, I suppose everyone that I knew from GA was there for me. My friends used to take me away at weekends and um, obviously going down to the field, even for a few pucks or whatever it was, just helped get my mind off it. So like GA has had a big role in my life, obviously, and it definitely helped me during that time when I was grieving and I'm sure my parents and my brothers would agree as well that it definitely helped to uh, refocus ourselves and give something positive to us at the time. One thing I will say about the GA as well was it was just we weren't just GA players. We were wondering how our schoolwork was going and different elements like that. So it was very, I suppose, from that point of view, they just weren't focused on hurling or football itself. They were helping us in other aspects. So it was brilliant. Um, with the COVID-19 pandemic, have you found it hard not having the support of your teammates and family because of lockdown? If so, how yeah. did you overcome this? Yeah, it was difficult, Anna. Um, there was times where each day was different. So obviously the weather was very good for a while, which makes it easier. And I suppose on the wetter days when you couldn't really do much, it was difficult. But I suppose we kept together through Zoom. We had a few Zoom hurling sessions just while when lockdown started. And obviously we had a couple of nights on Zoom where we had a bit of fun, just quizzes and stuff. I suppose even though, you know, they were obviously miles away, we felt very close. And our WhatsApps and social aspects, I suppose, we kept them going. So different players were ringing different people each couple of days. It was nice to hear different voices. And I suppose everyone was going to have difficult times. Some days a guy or girl could ring you and it'd be very positive. And the next day it's like, when is this going to end? etc but I suppose first and foremost people's health and safety has to come first so I think the GEA took a good approach from that sense that we were just training individually on our own and then now that the roadmap has, the roadmap has been launched for us to return to play I think training with the club obviously I love training my club it's not something I get to do that often so I'm really enjoying going down to our local field with 24 25 of the guys that I would have went to school with 
and just the buzz is brilliant and they can just see each day as long as the I suppose the COVID says going in the right direction um, it's obviously will be home to play a championship games in a, in a few weeks but then again I suppose like everything it puts into perspective that it's nice just to know that they're your friends off the field as well that, to know that they were ringing you when GA wasn't really going on um, and finally, what advice would you give to players who may be suffering with the loss of loved ones or with mental health issues and have not yet asked for help? Um, I suppose the most, the best thing you do, Anna, is to be open, obviously. It took me a long time to kind of voice where I was coming from and voice my own concerns. But I suppose you need really to be comfortable with those people. And sometimes maybe even a stranger can be a good way to talk to because you don't feel like they know you or they can judge you because... I suppose it's like talking to a wall, like they just don't have any real knowledge about you. Um, like there's lots of support out there. Pieta House were very good for us. There's living links. There's different supports there that I know that the Gaelic Players Association as well for um, have helped a few different inter-county players with different aspects that they were struggling with. And I just, I suppose when you're a GA player, either Camogie or hurling or football, you're kind of seen to be a strong character usually and, you know, maybe a leader or et cetera. But, Everyone has frailties, and if you have frailties, I suppose, or anyone else does, you shouldn't be afraid to really share them because a shared problem is a problem have. So I just, I suppose, it just whatever you're comfortable with, there's plenty of avenues to look into and really, I suppose, um, share, I suppose, which, uh, like I know my management team at down to Clover with Tip would be very supportive if I had any concerns or problems personally or in the group or whatever like that.